It's me, Mario! Oh! What's up, you guys? Welcome to Super Mario 64! Hello. Hello, Mario! I'm gonna get your nose! Got it. This is like facelift before it happened in Mario Party. <laughs> I can look all kinds of weird. Yes. When you were eight, this was a fantastic thing. <laughs> huh? Alright, let go of the button. That's right, I used to do that all the time. But I am playing on my actual console, we'll see how that goes using the new retro tank that I still don't know if I should have purchased it or not. If it looks way worse than the emulator, we will go emulate this instead. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Yes. So now we are back to the emulator because it does look better. The retro tank was like 130 something dollars and it's useless to me. I don't know. I don't understand it. All these technical doodads. Remember back in the day when stuff just worked? Yeah, now you need to spend 800 more bucks just to make it look like it, how it used to. It makes no sense. But you guys voted for this on Patreon uh, once again, among a choice of games. And yeah, I'm surprised I haven't once played this yet. Oh yes. You know how amazing that was when I was eight years old in 1996? Ciao, you've reached Princess Toadstool's castle. Yeah, nobody reads those. Oh man, takes me back. Oh, but we gotta get used to this old, the original 3D camera. Lakitu bros. Filming at all times from behind, as you would, I don't know, I guess it's like a paparazzi. Up, 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 up. That laugh, man. Alright, let's go do a bomb battlefield. This feels good to be in this castle <laughs> every time. I got a new USB controller that's N64 too, and I'm using that. Let's take a or whatever he says. He says let's a go, but I always thought he said something about Ego waffles. Because this was the same time when those Lego My Ego commercials were in circulation. Ah, uh, but you could go out of order. Let's test this joystick that's oversensitive. And see if I could do this. Now we're already botching it up. Come on, woof woof. Is it just me? Oh my gosh! But when Mario runs in this game, it looks like the polygon of his butt. Oh. It's alright. Oh, come on with the thing and the... the me, me, me. That's right, go smash the, the gate. This is star number six. We're going out of order. You're out of order. Oh, control stick and the A button is not normal either. I was just playing this on my console and it was felt so good to have an authentic Nintendo controller in my hands again, where everything works like it's supposed to, except the control stick's dead. And now we go to this knockoff USB and nothing's right. Big Bob, I'm on the summit. Let's go get that fat chunk. I don't care about 100 coins. You always do 100 coins when you go for the red coins. In most cases. Well, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the polygons of, um, not Nintendo's butt, but Mario's butt. Sometimes it's so square-shaped that it almost looks like he's walking around with a huge pile in his pants. Don't act like it's not true. Certain shots, it really highlights what he's rolling with. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, come on with the marbles coming down the mountain. What is this? Teleport in here. Yes, we gotta be careful when we side flip up. I'm the big bob -omb. how dare you? I'm gonna throw you off the mountain! Everybody threw this guy off the mountain, because why wouldn't you? I'm surprised that that's not what they made you do in this fight. This boss music was nuts, but yeah, dude, this game... Oh man, the stories I can tell. I have my Mario 64 story that I've told in numerous Let's Plays before, but this is the place to tell it. I got my foot. I don't care what he has to say. There you go, our first power star. Well, second. 
The first one we got out of order, that's right. Here we go! Here we go! He's so crazy, man. Big Bob Arm on the summit. Oh, that's not a backflip. But it is a butt stomp. And that was ingenious at the time, too. Foot race with Koopa the Quick. Let's do it and open the cannon. I always liked that noise. And that animation. I don't know, there's a lot I can say about this game, and I'm not doing it. Why? I'll do it as we race. Let's trigger this. Regga regga. Here we go. Oh, this song, man. It gets so old. Especially because they ran out of novel tracks, and they just play it in the last two worlds over and over again. Control stick! Control stick issues! This is what happens when you buy a knockoff stupid USB control. Only Nintendo can make controllers that are good for Nintendo things. It annoys me so, yes it does, I hate it very much. Well, my story of this game, I wanted this so bad being a product of the NES and the SNES. Eight years of my life trained on Mario and all these great 2D games. And then it went 3D. And I had to wait till Christmas of 96. But one of my friends at the time had this game and I went over his house and for some reason he had the console but no controller. I don't know what happened there, but he like lent the controller to somebody else. So I saw the console and I saw the cartridge for this game. And I was like, oh, I wanna play Mario, I need to see it. And so he plugged it in, but we couldn't do anything. Cause if you have no controller plugged in, it's like, please, can plug in a controller, and you can only watch the intro movie, and I must have watched that thing like four or five times and kept asking like, well is there some other way we could play it? <laughs> Even though there was no controller. But yeah. And then I had another friend, I was at his house a lot, when the N64 commercials were in circulation, getting everybody all excited for the holidays, or the Holland days. Oh, well, it's dumb. Oh, we got three power stars. We can go to other levels. But I'm probably going to 100% these stages as we go to them. Shoot to the island in the sky. Time to use the cannon. Well, yeah, both of these friends, the guy who didn't have a controller and the guy that I saw the commercials with all the time sleeping over his house. I don't know what they're up to in life anymore, but I hope they're doing well. But yeah, that other kid with the commercials, I remember being at his house, and uh, oh man, this control stick is so sensitive. Whatever. That should do it. But yeah, a commercial came on, and it took us a minute to realize what it was for, and all of a sudden he like grabbed my shoulder and he's like, Nintendo 64, Bill! He was so excited about it, because I want to say Cruising USA, was that near launch time too? I know he was excited for that game. I was all about the Mario stuff, though. Unless I have it all wrong and I didn't get an N64 till 97, because I remember Star Fox, too. But that could have been a different year. Wait a minute, we can't do anything else here. I mean, I could get those, but that's stupid. So, where do we go? Thwomp's Fortress? Sure, let's do it. Sorry, my excitement will dwindle, and there's not any kind of dialogue in this game, really. You skip it all the time, so it'll chill out and just be something to do random commentary over top of or something. Chip off Womp's block. It's interesting how this stage and not Babam Battlefield got remastered and put into the Galaxy or Galaxy 2. I guess this one really is the more memorable one. Well, Bomb Battlefield is kind of stupid, actually. I don't really like that level. Which takes me to a different point that I want to talk about. Yes, this game, to this day, remains unmatched as the, the game of my lifetime that I was most excited for. Like, I've never been more excited about a game ever than this one. And that remains true to this day. 
It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we paved your roads, and still you walk all over us. You ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not gonna wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. You have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, wimp. Let's do it, Bob. <laughs> That low res Mario. That's an emulator thing. <laughs> Normally, you never get to see that. Crushed again, just a stepping stone of your former self, or whatever it is. Here we go. Here we go, indeed. Now we get to climb the cool tower. Yeah, we'll 100% this stage for sure, because we don't need any kind of special caps or anything. Pop, 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 pop. It also always makes me think of the piano mode of Mario Paint that has a song that starts like that. But yeah, my Mario 64 story that I've told a million times, but this is the place to tell it. I still haven't gotten there yet. In my anticipation of asking for this for Christmas and just wanting it, I remember that Christmas Eve. It's like all the Christmas songs that say all the kids are up at night and they can't fall asleep or whatever. I forget how it goes in the songs. But yeah, that was definitely true that year. And as I was slowly starting to drift off to sleep but still excited, I heard in the distance what I thought was Mario's wahoos and stuff. Like, I could have sworn I heard this song. And all the wahs and the wahoos and all that stuff. And it was almost like a dreamlike state. And I remember getting up and running down the hallway, or like kind of walking down the hallway slowly, and it kept getting louder and louder, and I saw the glow of the TV illuminating in the dark room. And as I peered around the corner, Let's take a There was my dad sitting in a chair playing this game and yeah, he saw me looking and he got up and used his whole body to block the TV and the TV was like one of those ones that sits on the floor, those big box TVs from the 70s, you know? <laughs> oh, what the heck? But yeah, he tried to block the picture even though it was too late and he was like, GET THE HELL TO BED! Because he didn't want me to see my Christmas gift, and he was too busy playing it. And then the next morning he said he had to test it to make sure that it worked. <laughs> so yeah, my dad was excited for this game too. Oh, what the heck? I guess get used to that. Well, we're supposed to shoot into the wild blue anyway. But yeah, my dad did that same thing for Ocarina of Time in 98. Nah, I just remember him playing games and stuff. It's crazy to think I think I'm my dad's age. Maybe a little bit younger still. Of that very moment I'm thinking of, man. Since this is on an emulator, I guess I could crank down the sensitivity of the control stick to make up for how bad this one is. Well, we're getting by so far. But yes, now for the extra wrinkle to add into my story here. So Mario 64, the most exciting thing ever. The jump to 3D video games, like, I don't know, this was a standout moment of my childhood. And definitely like the pinnacle of what got me really excited for games even beyond the Super Nintendo. But going back to it today, and possibly a reason why I have not Let's Played this game is it really doesn't hold up too well, I don't think. Let's try this again. What? I overshot it. All right, well, we could go for something else. We could get the red coins and the 100 coins, or we could jump ahead and get the last star with the cannon. That seems like a better option right now. Not nah, still a good game though, definitely. But I feel like it's heavily backed by nostalgia. 
And I would say Mario Sunshine does a better job at this, but I know that's kind of a minority opinion. That game gets a lot of hate for some reason, whereas this one is just beloved, 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 all around. Yeah. I know you could use the cannon to get that star, but I always shoot off the level when I try to do that or something. Blast away the wall. Oh, we can open the Bowser door now. That's right, you can open everything so early in this game. Before you're anywhere near 100%ing even half of the stages. Alright, let's try the cage again. I got it first try playing on my actual console. I basically recorded this first episode already on my console, and then I decided it doesn't look as good as the emulator. It was actually hard to play, too. Everything was so grainy. So I guess, effectively, my N64 console is useless. It's just a memorial piece at this point. Except for maybe Perfect Dark. Here we go! Yeah, we're getting very close. Is it just the eight coins and 100 coin star? Coin star, do they still exist? Yeah, last one. All right, let's do it. Two stars and one. But yeah, the whole collecting a hundred coins thing, like that's, that's kind of stale these days. But yeah, absolutely, there was nothing like this at the time. And especially from the eyes of an eight-year-old, who already liked video games from everything that happened before this. I would definitely go back if I could. Even just to see those guys I was talking about again. Those friends. Oh yeah, it's so crazy to think. Actually, I was watching a Game Explain video. And that guy John, who works for them now. He made a comment that the first Mario Galaxy game is now 13 years old, so everybody who was 5 years old at the time that game came out is now 18. That's one of those factoid things that just makes you feel ancient. Kind of going back to how just realizing that when this game came out and I used to play video games with my dad all the time, my dad was just a little bit older than I am right now, which is nuts to me. What the heck? Why can't I stay on there? Oh! Okay. That was another one of those got that first try on the actual console thing. I don't know. It could be a number of things. Well, yeah, I truly haven't played this game in probably a decade, if not longer. Aside from maybe just popping it in to see how it looks these days. Oh, that's right, you gotta beat them up when they're asleep. <laughs> oh man, alright, whatever. I'm not saying anything. Um, I know, honestly, I just started thinking about the passage of time. Every time that comes up, there's like a, a sad feeling. Combined with shock. I just can't believe how fast time has gone. Almost there, 93. 1993, that was a good year too. I mean, all the 90s were good. If you were a kid during them at least. But I guess that's one thing about Mario games. No matter how old you are, whatever the big one is that year, it's gonna generate that kind of nostalgia for you. There it is. And the last two red coins. Here we go. But yeah, obviously I will get all 120 stars, because compared to stuff today, it is short. Tedious, though. There's not much going on except for... Can I land on it? No. <laughs> Here we go. Well, there you go. Thwomp's Fortress is 100% done. Oh, is the wing cap open now? 
I forget how many stars you need for the wing cap thing to happen. Also, is this... I can't remember which toads have a hidden star. I'm trying to talk to you. Still trying to talk to you. There we go. Must not be that guy. Yeah, even just this castle, dude, running around here. I wasted so much time as a kid just goofing around, jumping off of stuff with no purpose. The caps, though, yeah. I never really liked the wing cap as much. The metal cap is my favorite one because the music is awesome. But this is great, too. Although, not the first time this rendition of the star music was there. That goes to Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo. The Baby Mario. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, whenever you got a star in Yoshi's Island and Baby Mario got a cape and was running around in his diaper, it sounded like this too. Oh no! Wow, that ran out a lot faster than I thought it would. What the heck, man? I did not know that. So yeah, obviously I'm a little bit too hyper and annoying right now. That'll settle down. I don't know, it's not really on purpose, but kind of. I'm just trying to get excited about the game again because like I was saying, one of the reasons why I haven't let's played this is when I think about it, I'm like, yeah. I don't really want to play that, because there's other Mario games that are 3D and better than this now. Even though, like I said, whoa, that was, that was crazy. <laughs> what a fancy way to enter it. Yup, 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 yup. Alright, let's do it. First try, right? Do we still have it in us, even with a wonky knockoff controller? There are several games on the N64 that cannot be played without a true N64 controller. The Tony Hawk games are up there, Jet Force Gemini. Uh, anything that requires C buttons rather than a C stick. Like the precision of a singular button press rather than the uncertainty of a stick press, if that makes any sense. This game is not one of those games, but at the same time, there's a muscle memory thing. Like, there's been instances before where I've tried to play games like this using a different controller, and my hand will instinctively go to where, like, a C button or something is, and I just press a hard piece of plastic on the controller that's not even a button, because <laughs> it doesn't exist on whatever controller I'm trying to substitute. Like, Perfect Dark on the 360 is terrible for that. I can't play Perfect Dark without an N64 controller. But yeah, this on my actual console was the grainiest thing. I couldn't see this pathway or the coin. But I do remember several times as a kid, family would come over, wow. Okay, we're still good. But yeah, there used to be family gatherings at my house as a kid. And I had, I used to sit way too close to the TV. And people used to always comment on it and be like, you need to step away from that, you're gonna burn your eyes out. And so whenever people were over, I was forced to like, sit the full length of distance that the cord could go from the console. Like as far as the contro controller could stretch with the cord that it's attached to. And because of that, people would run through the room and like trip over the wires and knock the whole console down. So my N64 has fallen so many times and I kind of wonder if it has some kind of damage to it and isn't quite as good as it should be. I had two N64s because when my parents got divorced, they got me a second one for my mom's house as like a, a consolation thing because I was so upset about it at the time. So that way I didn't have to worry about packing it up and I could just, if I had to go to my mom's house, I could play the N64 there too. Which I guess is a spoiled thing in a way, but I don't know. But I ended up selling the second one to somebody. 
I think I still have my original N64 box. It was the rare limited edition gold controller. And yeah, that thing is, that thing is trashed. If the stick is even attached to it anymore. Chunky Play-Doh Bowser. Let's see if I can still do this. Wow, this is... So long, gay Bowser. <laughs> oh, man. That felt way faster than I'm used to. There was a time where this was like... Alright, that looked like he was still gonna not hit that, but... We could be in for some clunk here. I was a bit careless. Yeah, whatever, Bowser. Sorry I'm skipping all the dialogue, but it really isn't very interesting in this game. That picture scared the crap out of me as a kid. There's several things in this game that scared me as an eight-year-old. But today, it's just funny. We got a little bit of time. I don't want to go too much more than half an hour, but so we could do the princess's secret slide. There's two power stars back here. Isn't this room something special in the 3DS version? Or no, it's not even 3DS, it's crap DS that looks like terrible junk. I think I dabbled with that game, but I definitely prefer the original. And I also don't remember how fast you gotta beat this for the secret star. But we shall see. Actually, the sensitivity of this control stick might make this easier. Because usually it was the really tight turns that you go flying off of. Twenty seconds, that's what it is, right? Yeah, I didn't get it. I think it's twenty. That's alright, we've got to get this one anyway. But yeah, there was also a point in time where this was a very overdone Let's Play on YouTube. I think it still is. But in terms of good old days, this is definitely a game. And at one point it was my favorite game of all time. It still is, like I said, the game I was most excited for. So... This is... Well, that's not gonna work. Oh, I can't exit and if I'm not at a complete stop, so let's just jump off. But yeah, this game definitely belongs on this channel at some point, so it's time to do it. Oh, that didn't even cost a life. But I think my favorite Mario game is its a rivalry between Mario 3 and Mario World. Because those were the ones I really played a lot of as a kid first. But this is the one that blew my mind. Even though today, it's like... It's funny, it really is the only game I could say that for, that I was blown away by and thought was the most amazing thing ever, and now today, I'm fine if I don't play it. <laughs> oh man, last millisecond. Well, there you go. That's probably a good first episode. We will probably move on to the snow world, because that's the one I have a lot of great memories of, too. But I'll try to calm down and be less loud and exciting, because that's not really my thing. Sorry that I was, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.